there is construction work right outside. All right, hello. So I've got a demo to show you. So as you know, I love JSON forms. It allows us to render basic, but very important forms by providing a schema for your data. You define everything you need, you need type string, type boolean, all your parameters are set. And there is your data, which corresponds to your schema, and you've got some UI schema, you've got your vertical or whatever layout, you've got your control, which points to the data in your JSON schema. And there's our UI with JSON forms, uh, approach to render data. So we've got live validation, we've got everything. Uh, yeah, and my little approach is using something different. So I recreated their approach with the same schema for data and the same schema for the layout. But in HTMX, basically I rendered everything on a backend with a simple Express.js and I've got pretty much the same validations they have. It's uh, JSON schema validations. Uh, this one uh, had a validation that needs at least three characters and we satisfied that. This thing should not be empty and it accepts a predefined set of variables and when we apply the data, it works. I'm not sure what this was supposed to be, but yeah, we satisfied that too. A very simple example, but it's something that we can configure. and. Why did I decide to go with HTMX? Uh, I did render everything with HTMX, by the way, uh, because it's a new trend these days. Uh, look at how this stuff is rendered. I'm trying to reload, uh, reload, reload, reload. It's pretty much in instantaneous, right? I rendered just HTML. It's a very simple bootstrap configuration. Uh, there is nothing much to it, actually. And uh, yeah, there is a trade-off that uh, you have to uh, reload sections of page, but it happens pretty much instantaneous. Whereas the original beautiful implementation of uh, JSON forms library, it does kind of lag behind. So I am reloading, and you see, bam, bam, reload. Bam, bam. So it takes some time to load your JSON schema. It takes some time to load your UI schema. It takes some time to actually load all the JavaScript validation <clears throat> to process the JSON schema and make uh, assumptions about your data on front end. And by the way, you also need to have that on backend to double check if the user actually uploaded uh, correct data. So this front end actually is way too heavy for what it what it needs, uh, what it does. And my initial thought is, uh, since HTMX does allow us to render only what we need, in this case is just it's just a simple form. Uh, yes, I did load Bootstrap to make everything pretty. Well, it's kind of pretty, but it's instantaneous. Let's look at the code. I did uh, kind of steal some of the uh, JSON uh, forms core because I'm not using React at all, as I mentioned, I guess. And uh, I pretty much copied quite a lot of code to prepare my uh, data with uh, core reducers they have uh, in, in their core, in, in JSON forms core. I provided data schema, UI schema, 
and for for every uh, component I have, um, like the controls I want to show, I am getting the name and all those simple things that uh, JSON Forms Core provides, minus all the fr uh, front end React work to map props to actual uh, UI components. And I've got some simple uh, simple um, parameters that I need to set just in order to uh, help me to uh, display everything in templates using uh, embed.js. <clears throat> so embed.js is helping me to compose the data I have from visual uh, library uh, from from uh, UI schema. If this is a vertical layout, yeah, this is going to be a div, and there's like children uh, for each going on, which renders eventually control uh, HTML, uh, which uh, just uh, actually let me show it to you. This is my control. So every every control I show over here is just a mapped value with uh, Bootstrap's uh, call SM6 to display everything has a screen in columns with a full name for schema. Uh, it's just like that, pretty much, uh, a full path to your data. It helps to to map the data we enter in here. Actually, let me show it to you. So whatever we uh, enter in here is a name under which we actually store the data is properties, personal data, properties, age, which is a full pass for the schema. So blah, 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 properties, name, and this is, yeah, properties, personal data, all right, personal data, bam, so properties, personal data, properties, age, and uh, yeah, age. So we know exactly where the data is, we know the schema under which we want to have our validation, we know the error, which, uh, JSON schema can throw, and voila, the front end is immediately lighter, simpler, there's less layers of, of uh, abstraction, so we don't have React, we don't have all this uh, huge code to validate stuff on front end, uh, we can safely fetch all the validations we might need uh, from backend. Backend can quickly come up with er basic errors you have, and just we can just display the state of the backend over here. We do have to work in sessions on backend if this is on production ever, but this is technically what's done already all the time, right? We are pulling data always, and uh, I'm not sure this is too much of a deal. So that's it. Uh, let's maybe dig deeper into this. Uh, yeah, we know the path for the inputs uh, where we want to store the data. We map that. We map value. Um, I did have to make some hoops to check if the thing is a number or a string, just to add those quotes, I guess. Um, let's do that. Bam, 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 bam. If you know, in string, oh yeah, I am adding some additional options to make that thing appear. It's searchable. Yeah. So those are the options for the string. Bam, bam, bam. 
And uh, every time I'm making the post request, uh, I am recreating the entire object of data I want to process because, of course, in order to validate the entire form, you need all the data because one piece of data can kind of depend on the other. But yeah, it's easy. Uh, do look uh, for JSON forms. It's an awesome library. Uh, I think there is implementation of that for Django uh, Python framework. And I'm willing to take a look at that because uh, Django has the strength to render quite a lot of templates. It's template based for UI and uh, to support these custom configurable forms by user. A combination of JSON schema and this UI schema and some basic uh, templating could save a lot of people's minds and uh, therapy sessions. I know I need one. Anyway, React sucks. Uh, this library is great. Peace.